Greetings, dear ones. I'm Cryon of Magnetic Service. Beautiful to see all of you here. I will say this again. It's not an accident that you've decided to listen to these words, given in love as they always are. We study many esoteric things, and that's what you would want, I would think, from channeling. And this month, we have a series of four subjects, and this is the second of the four. The subjects are all about one attribute. And it's probably one of the most popular attributes that many are studying at this time. Last week, we told you this information. We give it again to some degree for those who may have missed it. But it's simple. Is there more to that which you think is real? And that has a name. If there is, it would have awareness. So you might say, okay, there is more, but I'm not aware of it. So we would say, let's study awareness. Awareness happens in many levels, and yet they're not levels. I'm going to explain that yet again. But first, another premise. This planet of yours is increasing in so many ways. We would say increasing in frequency. That would not be correct. If you had a measure of multidimensionality within a population, no matter how big or how small it would be, it would be a measure of awareness. Because as dimensionality starts to complete itself and become more of what it actually is, meaning moving from three to five to seven to whatever, if you want to number them, you have the invitation to be more aware of it. The planet itself, Gaia, it doesn't change much. It has always been multidimensional. But when we say the awareness of the planet, we mean those on the planet. So let's start again. I'm going to tell you that in this shift, there is the opportunity for you to have a higher awareness because you are becoming more multidimensional. All of you. Not just the metaphysical ones, not just the spiritual ones. This means the entire population of the planet has the ability to have this happen if they give an allowance for it. And many don't. And we have said this before, that there are so many humans on the planet who said, I'm satisfied with what I know, what I believe, where I am. <clears throat> Where my spirituality is, there is no reason for me to look beyond that. And there's no judgment if you don't. But there are many who are starting to sense and feel something else. Is there more? The study is in the levels of awareness. And we have said to you, we said it last week very clearly, levels to you would often mean one thing above another. Actually, that's what levels would, would normally mean, and yet that's not what we're talking about. The levels of awareness are on top of each other. They're intertwined with one another. And you have to get used to that. There's no hierarchy in what we're discussing. But there are no words for a multidimensional increase. So we'll use levels. Not only that, we're giving some other names. Living awareness. Now that's different. A living awareness is something now that we're talking about which is above the common 
four-dimensional or three-dimensional awareness. So it's above what you think. And in this study of awareness, we're giving four subjects. The first subject of enhanced living awareness was awareness of yourself, self-aware, which isn't what you think. And you can go back and hear that channel to review that. Neither is this what you think. For the subject of this enhanced awareness is others, those around you. Now, in the basic level of awareness in three dimensions, what you've grown up with is you're aware of others around you. And that just means there's bodies there. <laughs> or you, you feel the presence of theirs. That you're aware if somebody's with you. And that's as far as it goes. Some of you who are just a little more insightful are say, well, I'm also aware of the motions that are around me, and I, I react to those. I can walk into a room, and I can tell. Is it, is it happy? Is it sad? Has there been an, a, a fight? Is there any of those things? So you're more aware, I would say, of their awareness, of what's gone on. That's not what we're speaking of. A high living awareness of others around you is you being aware of their souls to the extent that no matter what they say or do the first way you see them is in love you see the love that went into their existence you care for them no matter if even if if they have never even opened their mouth you care for them you have a very high awareness then of those around you and then as you get to know them, if you do at all, that has to remain the highest awareness around them. They may open their mouth and you, in 3D you'd say, I don't like them. I wish, I wish they'd never heard from them because perhaps they don't believe what you believe. Perhaps they've just opened their mouth and said something you don't agree with at all. In three dimensions, of course, that then changes your attitude, your chemistry, everything. But a high awareness doesn't change anything. You're simply aware they think differently than you think. But they're still filled with love and why they're here, what they've gone through, what caused them to be who they are, what level they might be at, where they might be in the scheme, you might say, of past lives on the planet? Are they wise old souls just waking up? Or did they just get here? All of those things is a high awareness of others. Why would I teach such a thing? I'll tell you this, dear ones, that when more and more people on this planet start thinking of others in a high living awareness, there is far, far less judgment. There's no anger. There's no frustration. And you learn to look at that first and all the other things that they may be, the 3D things. It really doesn't matter that much. And you can discuss with them and, and all the things you would normally do, but at the same time, you're looking at their soul. I say it, the love that went into getting them here. You know what I'm saying. That the creator and their agreement to come back and come back and come back is filled with love. The kindness that results in that is mastery. The compassion for them that results in that is mastery. So the awareness that we are speaking of this entire month truly is available for all of you because you'll say, well, I'd like to have that. How do I have that? By saying that you can and that you believe it's there by allowing it. Dear spirit, I allow my consciousness to see past everything I was told. <laughs> Dear spirit, I give an allowance for a higher awareness 
of everything. I realize this planet is ratcheting up a notch in dimensionality, and I want to be part of it. And that is the truth. And that is the simplicity of it. You are now able to start thinking higher than you ever were before. Higher thinking, living awareness, much more than being self-aware. As I said last week, you're aware of your higher self. You're aware of your soul. And now the soul of others. I teach this because this will be the key to peace on earth. I'm crying in love with all of you. And so it is.